So here is version one of the uh, Sprinter long wheelbase uh, camper van build. So we'll just show the outline of the van to start with. Just turn the visibility on. So there, just shaded there, is the is the cargo area of the van roughly. I've not measured this. I've taken it from someone else's measurements of a similar van. So, so I expect it to be more or less exactly the same. You can just see the the uh, outline of the side door there, and you can see the kitchen unit comes out 50% into the way, and then this is obviously the back doors. So I'll just remove that. So these items are, are moulded to fit, but obviously the final shape of these depends on the final measurements of the actual van. So first of all, we've got a kitchen unit here. These the shown without doors on or drawers in. Uh, on the top is a standard SMEV or whatever manufacturer's Dometic uh, sink and burner unit. That's to scale, and then some extra extra worktop space there. Under this uh, bench is going to be either storage or possibly a heater unit a water heater depending on exactly what uh, equipment we go for at the end of the day and then this is the this is the second version of a bathroom i came up with this is a slightly smaller bathroom than the original the original one i looked at there's still enough room to get a, a porta potty in there it's shown with a shower tray in whether there will actually be a shower tray in there at the end of the day probably not it's probably just going to be a small room <clears throat> with a toilet either a, either a loose porta potty or a fixed fixed one not yet 100 percent sure it'll have a sink unit in there a mirror a little cabinet so it'll just be like a little bathroom really uh, and that allows you to have a bigger bench here and a bigger overhead cabinet this, the bigger unit, which which fits a standard shower and toilet tray, is about out to here somewhere. So it gives a slightly smaller bench, but still a decent sized bench though. But it does take up quite a bit of room in this little living area here. Because <clears throat> having a fixed double bed at the back and a high bed so that you've got a garage area below it, that takes up quite a bit of room. And that's one of the reasons why you need the big long wheelbase sprinter van because most of the other vans aren't big enough really so moving around to the back it's shown with the uh, with the bed tilted up at an angle that's because it's going to be hinged over this end and there's going to be some props here to hold it in place so that when the bed's when the bed's down i'll just move to another view of the actual bed unit when the bed's down or sleeping there's still 1.2 meters height below there, so you can still get a motorbike in. But if it's if it's got big mirrors on, or if it happens to be a slightly taller bike, you know you've got the option to lift that up just to provide a bit more headspace. Uh, and I'm trying to balance a, com a combination of having enough room in the garage and not not having a, a really shallow area up here. So in this above there, above above the garage in the bedroom area, we've got a little shelf there, which you could rest a iPad on or something like that. And then here we've got some little units, little cupboards, which are quite deep actually. And then an overhead cabinet here with three doors. Quite quite a big cabinet that. And then this area here will either have doors on or maybe it will be open depending on what's going to go in there. So there could be a combination of electrical equipment, uh, batteries, water bottles, pumps, all that kind of stuff. I don't know exactly what services we're going to have yet and where we're going to fit them. That's going to be the next part of the design to work all that out. This area is going to be open. There won't be a door on there. And the same at this side, that'll be open as well. Uh, so yeah, so that's, and that's just made of plywood just plywood vertical pieces plywood face so that's not it's not it's not so heavy and it's fairly easy to construct all these all these items have been designed and the way that I would intend to construct them anyway 
So once the dimensions are finalised, it should be straightforward to just convert this plan into a into drawings and just produce things. But we've got a ladder climbing up here into the bedroom area, and there'll be a door on there so you can get access through into the garage area. So that's it basically. That's uh, that's plan A. So all I need, all we need now is a van. Uh, and then take some final measurements, work out exactly what equipment's going to go in there, and away we go.